Hello, and welcome to this edition of PMG's Automate Newsletter. My name is Jeff Peets, and I'm a consultant with PMG. Have you ever watched a flock of birds migrating, soaring over your head in a coordinated effort to get to their new location? Pretty cool, right? If only solution migrations, or moving components from one environment to another in this case, could mirror that coordination and simplicity. Well, let me introduce to you one of version 8's newest features, Package Manager, starting in version 8.2. Package Manager is a new admin area to facilitate the grouping of PMG artifacts into a single package comprised of one to many solution components, that being service forms, shared forms, workflows, email templates, calendars, SLAs, and or queues, all while maintaining its own version history. Let's dig in and we'll start by navigating to Package Manager. From the front end portal, it can be accessed via administration menu under System Management. Alternatively, if you're working from the Workflow Designer, you can find Package Manager under the Manage menu. To create a new package, we'll begin by selecting Add Package. Upon clicking this button, we'll see fields to enter a name for the package, a description, and any relevant migration notes that may be needed for reference in the future. Let's take a moment and populate these fields. Once we give it our new package a name, we can start adding components to it. Make notice of the available item search filter. We can enter search text here and any components matching the search text will be listed in the respective component category. Alternatively, we can simply drill down into each of the component categories by clicking on the header bar to expand the list of items within that respective category. Once we've located a component we want to add to our package, simply select it to which our selection becomes bold and then use the right arrow key to move said component to the list of selected items. Any items in this list will be added to our package once saved. Holding the control key on your keyboard while making selections will allow us to move components in bunches versus individually. Let me add some components to our list. Components can also be removed from our list, again by selecting the respective component and using the left arrow key, moving them back to our list of available items. Now that we have all of our components selected, we're going to save our package. This brings us to the package details screen. This screen is a summary of our newly created package. That summary includes the display of the contents of the package and when the package was created. You will also notice our package is now available to be selected from the list of packages on the left menu pane under Packages. Clicking on a package in this pane will also bring up this package detail screen. This is where we'll want to be in order to export our package. By clicking Export Package, we are prompted to save this into a zip file, which will allow for us to upload this into another environment. Let's go to our new environment to import our solution. From the Package Manager home screen, this time from our target environment, we are going to click Import Package. Once clicked, we will see an option to browse and upload our newly created zip file. Selecting one of our previously exported zip packages will load the imported package details page with details on the package prior to finalizing the import. We are presented with the option to replace existing components in our target environment. If those components exist, by default, these are checked. Once we have confirmed our package contents, we can finalize the import by clicking Import Items. If successful, you will be prompted with a message saying as such. With that successful import, we've just condensed what could have been numerous exports and imports into an easier and more efficient and simplistic manner. Fortunately for us, the functionality of Package Manager doesn't stop there. 
We also have the ability to make adjustments or edits to our already defined packages. Once a package is selected, you will have additional options to edit, which will bring you back to the now familiar Package Builder screen, where you can add remove components as needed and save your edits. Or, it will allow you to access the version history of your package, which will give you the ability to download a specific version in the event you need to roll back any recent updates to the package. So gone are the days of having to manually export and import each of our solution components individually. The future in exporting and importing is Package Manager. Start the conversation today to get upgraded to the latest version of V8 to take advantage of this new feature amongst many others. Additional information on Package Manager can be found in this edition of the Automate Newsletter's Did You Know article. I hope this video tutorial provides you the information you need on this feature. If you have any additional questions on this topic, you can contact us at support.pmg.net or contact your service delivery manager. Thank you.